Okay, good morning guys. So, uh, today I'll be explaining a little bit about uh, the gradient of a line from two points. So, uh, as you have uh, already learned before about slope, well, actually slope has the same meaning as gradient. So, before our topic is about slope, this time is about gradient, so actually it's the same thing. So, slope is equal to gradient. Okay, so remember that slope or gradient uh, can be denoted by the letter M. Okay, so this letter here is a denotation of gradient. So uh, remember this formula here. So this formula, are uh, we're going to use this formula to find out the gradient of a line in which through uh, two points. Okay, so a line uh, which through point A and B, which A has a coordinates of X1 and Y1, and B has a coordinate of x2 and y2, uh, then the gradient will be this one here. Okay, so let's go to the example. Say I have example one. Okay, so example number one, find the gradient of a line through point a in which let's say it's uh, 3 5 and point B in which is uh, let's say it's 5 uh, 10 okay so in here the first thing that we need to do is to name all of these numbers by x1 y1 x2 and y2 so it doesn't really matter which one is x1 and y1 you can choose a as x1 and y1 or x2 and y2 but uh, just remember that if this is x1, then this is y1. Don't don't make x, this is x1 and this is y2. Don't do this, okay? You erase that. So let's say I name this with x1 and y1. Sorry. And uh, this one here as x2 and y2, right? So which means that I have x1 is equal to 3 and y1 is equal to 5 for coordinates of a. And for coordinates of B, I have x2 is equals to 5 and y2 is equals to 10. So using the same, uh, using the, the formula that I gave you in here, using this formula here, right? So we can say that the gradient or the slope is m is equals to, let's write the formula first, so y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So you only need to substitute all of the numbers. You have all of the numbers here and here, right? Okay, because you have all of the numbers, you only need to plug those in, okay? So y2 is this one here, which is 10. I'm going to write that down, which is 10. And then y1 is this one, is 5, so it's minus 5. Over, it's x2 is this one here, which is 5. And x1 is 3. So, in which is 10 minus 5 is 5, and 5 minus 3 is 2. So, there you go. You have the gradient. Okay, another example, same exact uh, example actually, but using a different number. So, number 2. Find the gradient of a line through points. Let's say now the point is P, say it's minus 3 and 1, and then I have another point which is Q, let's name it with Q, and this one is, uh, let's say it's 4 uh, minus 8. Okay. So using the same concept, the first thing that you need to do is to name x1, y1, x2, and y2, right? The same thing like number 1, example number 1. So I will name x1 and y1 for the p, so which means that x1 and y1 will be minus 3 and 1. x1 is minus 3 and y1 is 1. And as for the q, which will be x2 and y2, so this will be a4 uh, and this one will be minus 8. Uh, and so if we write down the formula again, m, which be equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, I only need to plug in all of the numbers, right? So let's plug those in. So it's minus 8. So my y2 is minus 8, this one. And y1 is uh, 1, so it's minus 1. Over, and then we have the uh, x2, which is this one here, 4. 
and then uh, x1 is this one is minus 3. So remember that if you uh, see a negative number, so this is minus, and then use bracket sign. Okay. So you only need to calculate this, right? So it's 8, oh sorry, minus 8 minus 1 is equal to minus 9. And 4 minus minus 3 has the same meaning as 4 plus 3. Okay, because minus times minus is positive, right? So plus uh, 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. So the gradient is minus 9 over 7. Or you can write it down like this. It's the same thing. 